Hey guys, it's Brian from 2Fab here. Today we are talking with Alexandra Paul uh, about the 25th anniversary of Baywatch. Yeah. Can you believe it's, does it feel like it's been that long for you? No, it doesn't actually. I've been off the show for 20 years myself. That means off the show. Yeah. So uh, it means I came on about 24 years ago. So it's a long time. <laughs> now, do you remember what it was like your first day on set, the first time you put the, the famous red bathing suit on? Oh my gosh. No, I'll tell you something. The first time on set, I didn't put the red bathing suit on because it was in my contract that if I didn't want to wear a bathing suit, I didn't have to. I was really? playing a lieutenant, something like that. So they really wanted me to be in a uniform. Okay. So, but I ditched that uniform <laughs> yeah. pretty quickly we because who wants to be in a uniform when you can just, with heels and yeah. a shirt you have to tuck in, when you could just wear a red one piece, yeah. you know? So I, I think that first episode, I spent a lot of it in this sort of, office slash military looking combo. Now, I know there has been talk about, you know, there were uh, clauses in your contracts for weight. Was that something yes. you ever had to deal with yourself? And there was a clause. Well, there was a clause that said, I don't remember exactly what it said. Yeah. It said something about you couldn't gain more than five pounds over what the weight at which you were cast at. So. Um, and I've read that and I was like, what? Why do they have this for the women? And the, and the, the producer the said, no, the producers <laughs> told me that it was for everybody. And the reason was, it was a good reason. There's always, there's, a lot of times there's like history behind things. <laughs> and the history was, is that in the first season when NBC had Baywatch, one of the actors who will remain nameless was so happy about being cast in a you know, series that he partied his way like 20 pounds heavier by the time they started shooting. <laughs> so they decided to put that in the contract. Huh. Yeah. So it was an issue for me? No. It was, I never really paid attention to it. No one ever came to me and said, you've gained too much weight. No. You, we're, you're on the verge of being fired. No, that, that wasn't an issue. They did come to me on my last season and say, you need to get a publicist. You're the only actress who ha doesn't have a publicist. And you need a publicist, um, otherwise we're going to let you go. That was their... Um, their threat, and I already knew that I was going to leave. I yeah. was planning um, on going, and five seasons was good for me. How hard of a decision was that for you? To, oh, or were you you were ready? So hard. I no, my agents, they were telling me pretty much every year that they would sit me down and say, "We would like you to leave this show," <laughs> and I would say. No, I'm having so much fun. I love it. We only shoot five months out of a year, and the other seven months, I'm getting work, so it's all good. And they were like, well, we're worried you're going to get too uh, associated with the show. So for four seasons, uh, basically, I told them, uh, no, I'm happy. I'm happy. And then we realized that it was time to go. And so it was really hard. And Jay Asen, who was my closest friend on the I would call him and cry because I was so sad about leaving. How close were, I mean, it seems like you were really close. You're still close with Jason, it seems like. I'm still close <laughs> with Jason. I'm still close with David Chokichi. I just saw David Hasselhoff. I went to visit him on his set yesterday because he's shooting a movie. I'm hoping to work, well, we're all hoping to work together again. We're actually planning to do a movie called The B Team together. A lot of us actors from Baywatch. Now, when you guys were filming the show, were there you know, secret hookups behind the scenes? I feel like <laughs> fans always want to know. Fans always want to know, and I'm not telling. <laughs> That's a good answer. But there was a lot of love going on, whether it was just, you know, friends or lovers. I'm not saying. Finish the sentence. Oh, no. One of these. Okay. <laughs> the most surprising thing I've done since being on Baywatch is. Well, I'm still swimming in that ocean that w where we shot Baywatch. Not only do I body surf there every Tuesday in the summer and the fall, but I'm training for a 13 and a half mile ocean swim, so I still swim in <laughs> the exact bay where we were, and, okay, I saved somebody a couple weeks ago. Really? Yes, so, who literally was, I was in the surf, this person went, help, help, and I swam over and kept his head up while the waves were going over. It was like Baywatch. Do you have any message for the fans out there after 25 years? Thank you for just <laughs> still being inter interested in us after all these years, you know? It's great, I've, I'm so grateful. You know, even though in my obituary, they'll probably say like when I'm 95, they'll say, 
basically star of Baywatch, even though even I've started like I've starred in over 75 other projects. That'll be the one. I'm actually very proud of that. I'm proud to be associated with Baywatch. It was an incredible chapter of my life, and it continues to give me blessings, including this interview with you. Thank you so much. Very nice to meet you.